Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. I had plans for this week that just have not gone as I meant, but that's okay. It's still been a really good week. For my reading wrap-up, I haven't finished anything. In fact, I have gone a very, very mood reader. I did pick up Sisters of the Forsaken Stars, but I just wasn't in the mood. Nothing's wrong with it. I'm just, it's more serious and I'm looking for something I think a little more lighthearted right now. I then picked up When w Women Were Dragons by Kelly Barnhill. And it, it, the writing is decent. I don't really buy the woman remembering memories from when she's four years old, but then again, I don't, so it, it's making the plausibility hard. I actually find the whole concept of dragons a lot easier to believe than, than a woman remembering early, early memories. I know that might seem strange, but it's also very serious, and I'm not in the mood for serious. I also picked up Dead Silence, just trying to see if I was in a mood for something different. I eventually picked up The Burning Page by Genevieve Cogman. This is number three in her Invisible Library series, and I think this is fitting the mood that I am in right now. It's not completely serious. It's also not completely like a romp. It's, it's not a light romp, but it has enough of the adventure elements that I am very much enjoying this. And this is a continuation of Irene and Kai. Irene is now on probation due to the events in the second book, meaning that her and Kai are being sent on all these dangerous retrieval missions. And she comes across a door that is supposed to lead back to the library and then doesn't. Instead it burns. So now she's trying to figure out what's going on. Did somebody not tell her appropriately or give her appropriate information and purposely put her in her life in jeopardy and also then Kai's life in jeopardy as that is her student basically. I like this. But all I've done is start things this week and that's okay. So definitely planning on continuing with the burning page and probably will have to try something else since the other two books are due back today at the library. And for my writing wrap up, I have not written this week. That was part of the big plans that got derailed. I was planning on it and instead I spent time with my husband, which is also a very worthy thing to do. Going into our other media, we are binge watching MasterChef this week. So I've been watching that with him. And then when I haven't been with him, I haven't been in a reading mood or a writing mood. And so I've been binge watching as time goes by. So lots of TV this week, but really enjoying it. And the nice thing about watching MasterChef is my husband's now getting ideas and creativity of what he wants to do in the kitchen. He is the better cook. And so I get to eat lots of yummy things and I am enjoying that. But like I said, this is a really fast one because my mood readiness didn't allow me to actually settle on anything. Do you guys find that around the holidays you're more of a mood reader and can't really focus on things? Let me know. Thank you and have a great day.